Hey guys, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get the byte array from a file. So let's create a new Java project, and I'll call this project File Handling. Click Finish. Now let's create a new Java package, and call it File Read, and click Finish. Now we will create our Java class called to bytes and we will have this main method in it. So now that we have our class we can start writing the methods to get the byte array from a file. So this first method that I'm going to show you is going to be a little longer and the second will be a lot shorter. So first we will do this longer method. So public static and the return value of this method will be byte array. So byte array and let's get let's call it get bytes. Now the parameter of this method will be some file, so file f. And as you can see, first we have to import a few things like java.io dot and let's just import everything from the IO package and the second import will be from a different package called java dot nio dot file dot and class will be files so we will import everything from package IO and we will import the files class so now after this uh, parameter will just write throws file not found exception and io exception okay and in the body of this method first we need to write a buffer in which we will write the bytes that we read from a file so buffer byte array buffer is a new byte array with the length of usually the length of the byte array should be a power of 2 so it could be like 512 or 1024 as I like to use or can be 2048 and so on so the power of 2 so next thing we need to make is a byte array output string so byte array output string and let's call it os is new byte array output string now let's create file input stream. So file input stream. Let's call it this. Is a new file input stream and just put our file f as a parameter because it requires a file as a parameter. So we will have just a variable, integer variable called red, not read but red, because we will use this. Um, variable in our while loop so our while loop is going to read this block of bytes from this file and it will write it to this byte array output stream and as it ends we will get all bytes from this output stream and return them so while loop and now we will first read the bytes from this file so, and <coughs> we'll use the method file input stream method called read and this method returns the number of bytes read so read is equal to file input stream read and let's read this chunk of bytes so now this must be equal to minus one because if it returns minus one no bytes are read from this file so mustn't be minus one okay 
after this, we will write this buffer to a byte array output stream. <coughs> so OS write, and as you can see, we need the data that is our buffer, the offset that will be zero because we will always start at zero of the buffer array and the length is the number of bytes to write so let's use this method so first parameter is will be the buffer the offset in this case will be zero and the third parameter will be read at that the uh, bytes the number of bytes being read from the file input stream so this is it and after this we will just close the file input stream, so this close and close by three output stream, so close and return by three output stream to by three and that's it. So now we have our method get bytes that will read all bytes from a file. So now we must check it if this method works. So in our main method let's create new byte array and let's call it bytes from file and it will get bytes from the method get bytes. Okay and above it let's create a file object so file f is a new file and in the brackets we need to make a path to our file so I have created the sample document that is on my desktop as you can see so this is a path to my desktop let's copy this and put the double quotes and between them put the path and use double slashes okay and after this desktop put double slashes and the name of your document so in this case will be sample.txt so I have a file that is on my desktop and this file as you can see has 88 bytes so it's just uh, three lines of some text nothing big so if this file if this method works this method should return 88 bytes from the sample.txt file so let's just surround this with a try catch block so try and catch the exception e okay and now to check if we get 88 bytes from this file we just need to print out the length of this byte array so system dot out dot print line and just use bytes from file dot length so if this method works it should return 88 bytes so let's run it and as you can see it returned 88 bytes so this method works so now I will show you another way to get the byte array from a file so this will be the fastest way and the shortest way to get bytes so instead of using our <coughs> custom get bytes method let's just use the static method from this files class so instead of this get bytes use files dot read all bytes and as you can see it requ requires a path object of a file so just place f our file dot to path and put semicolon and that's it so let's run it and we get 88 bytes as well so this is the built-in method in Java from a files class that is located in a file
file package so from the java.nio.file so that's it my friends and thank you for watching and see you in the next video